Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and today we're transforming into my spirit animal. Can you guess what it is? It's a sloth. So today we did an awesome transformation. I'm like super stoked with how it turned out. It definitely was not going very well. And then it all came together at the end. So if you want to see how we completed this look, stay tuned and it will start at the end of me talking. And make sure you're subscribed because I upload a video once a week and you want to hit the notification bell so you don't want to miss on all miss out on all that awesomeness. Also, if you guys want to see these live, I record them every Wednesday night on Wednesday, on Wednesday, duh, <laughs> on Facebook. Links in the bottom description. Stay tuned, we're slothing. Hello. I swear, me and this wig, it's a doozy. <laughs> and it has the worst haircut too. So I figured I'd bust it out just because we need a little hair on her head and we didn't need my hair on my head. So tonight we're going to rock the bro Kim wig. We should call this the Ken. I should start naming my wigs. So we're rocking the Ken. <laughs> I've got my eyebrows glued down. Funny story about those. If you know me, well, I hope it would just be that obvious. I have thick eyebrows, like almost like armpit hair, thick eyebrows. So I was, you know, trimming my eyebrows and I accidentally like shaved some off. So it kind of looks like I've got the gang brow going. Not what I was going for. I was just up too late trimming my eyebrows when I shouldn't have been. So now they've got the whatever that is. Whatever that means in street cred, that's what I got. Hi, Sean. <laughs> I was just explaining how gangster I am. <laughs> so we got the wig, we got the contacts. Let's pray they don't break and fall out on me. Tonight we're gonna be a sloth. Um, so this is our inspiration. I think we already, we're halfway there. So sloths are like the cutest thing ever, but if you're like over 13 and you can use the Google, you should just Google all of the funny sloth memes. They're very sexual, but uh, they're hilarious. Can't talk about them here because it's a PG-13 kids show, you guys. But yeah, if you're bored, go check that out. Okay, so I'm going to kind of color in my light spaces first, and then I'm going to do the dark spaces, and then we're gonna add light on top. It's gonna be layers upon layers upon layers. It's gonna kind of be like the Van Gogh, but not like the Van Gogh at all. So let's just, let's draw on my face. Let's do that, that's always fun. That's what the people come for, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna sharpen this because I'm unprepared. To do my job okay so let's see they kind of have little like et eyes et finger eyes i guess i guess that would make sense if you were in my head but it doesn't really okay so they have little et finger eyes and their eyes are a little further spaced out since i can't move my eyes today uh we're just gonna keep my eyes where they are we're gonna make it easy and then i'm just going to take from my eye and I have the same picture down here. So if you think I'm cheating, it's because I am. It's too much of an effort to look all the way over there. So I'm gonna kind of drag my eyes down, lower, and then, let's see, where's my crease? And then we'll drag those down too. So that's gonna be our ET finger eyes. Very technical terms, you guys. Okay, I feel like such a boy in this. I think it like, this wig takes at least 10 years off of me, <laughs> but it makes me look like a boy. It's like the best of one thing and then the worst of the other. I need to try and like style this and make it look hot. We should do that. We should do like a whole series on all of my wigs and do wig, wig makeup to match my wigs. Would you guys watch that? Would you guys watch a whole series of just my wigs? I have so many wigs. I think I just said wigs like 20 times too. But I seriously have a problem. I just love them so much. I would wear wigs all the time if I left the house. <laughs> but I don't. So there's no need for it. Okay. And then they kind of have little beards. Well, it's not like a beard. It's just their face. But ours is going to look a little beardy. Oh my gosh, this eye twitch. Has anybody ever had an eye twitch? Give me all the likes for that. 
because I have had one on my upper lid, which I usually get them on the lower lid, and those are annoying, but having them on the upper lid sucks. It just feels like you're halfway in between a blink all the time. And I've had it for like two days. It ain't going away. Okay, I gotta make my face look less long. So I figured this hair was gonna help, but the haircut on this wig may not because it's uneven. I should just split this down the middle. But I put in the description, this makes me feel like Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber. Who's seen that movie? Give me a heart if you've seen Dumb and Dumber because I feel like Lloyd Christmas. Okay. It's a start, it's a start you guys. Okay, and then my forehead is gonna end here. Maybe I should even go lower. Lower. We'll end my forehead here. Okay, we have the roundabout idea of what we're doing. Not really, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this goth white. That looked really white, it's just really empty. And then I'm gonna take a wet blending bud. Then we're just gonna kind of go in the spaces where it's gonna be light. And this will just keep it light. Keep it light, keep it tight. I guess I should draw my nose on too. My nose is gonna come all the way up here because they have little round noses. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's my nose. I'm gonna live with it. And I'm not doing a super opaque job. I'm just doing an okay job. Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of light so that I have somewhat of a template of where I need to stay light so I'm not going in with black eyeshadow. Even though this kind of has some, uh, of course I didn't clean my blending buds before I got on here. Why would I do that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Look gray, not the color we were going for. It's fine. This will be sloth gray. So who's ready for some sloth facts? Alexa, tell me a fact about sloths. Here's a fact about sloth. A female sloth is called a sow. I didn't hear that. I think she said a female sloth is called a sow. Sow, that's pretty cool. I didn't know sloths only had three fingers. They've got like, or these, I don't know how you do your sloth fingers. My knuckles look old. So I'm gonna use palette one. This palette's been like our jammy jam for this animal kingdom. I wanna call it animal kingdom. We're gonna call this the animal kingdom series. So yeah, this uh, oh, I would. This palette's been amazing. We've used it in every single look. I think we even used it in the shark, which I don't know if I really wanna account in the animal kingdom, but I'm gonna use that one. And then I might go in with these browns from palette four. We will see wherever the world takes us. I'm missing my brushes. Hang on, guys. Actually, you come with me. I don't wanna unplug. This is the second time I've had to leave my, my desk. Now you know the charade. It's just a black sheet. Seriously, the best backdrop though. <laughs> Four dollars, Walmart, boom. Okay, now we have brushes. Now we can work. All right, let's get to painting my eyes. So these are going to be dark brown, black. They're just gonna kind of, we want them to push back. We want my eyes to look really beady, like this, little beady eyes. So I'm gonna go in with a lighter brown build just so that we don't have a lot of weird stuff going on. So I'm actually gonna get my brush wet and I'm gonna dip it into this dark brown called Forthright. And getting it wet's gonna kind of create like a paste or an eyeliner, however you wanna use it. You just use it to your heart's content. So I'm just gonna trace this back. And we're gonna have to make my ears disappear at some point. We'll get there. I have to tell you, I like totally rocked the domestic goddess tonight. 
normally I don't cook dinner on Wednesdays because usually Bo's not home, but tonight I cooked dinner and I cooked dinner before 6.30 and I went to the gym and I even ate dinner. So if I'm like super burpy, it's because I housed like two lettuce wraps and a half a bag of salad before I got on here. Pretty impressive. And I still had time to put a wig on winning on this Wednesday. Okay. Hi, Casey. I wonder what vitamin it is. It is so annoying. No. <laughs> this is the wig. If I did cut my hair, somebody would have butchered it. It's a pretty awesome wig, though. It's like the perfect pixie if you style it. But we never really style it on here. Winning! Yeah, I need to look into that because I just assumed it was stress, but who knows? Maybe I need to check my vitamins. Sure is annoying, though. Have you ever had one, Casey? You like this wig, Caroline? We should just get, like, you and Rachel. We should all get pixie wigs and then just wear them. We could be the pixies. Ah! I get it when I'm stressed too, but I heard it. Yeah. I'll have to look in. Let's, well, we have an encyclopedia here. She's not really an encyclopedia. Alexa, what causes an eyelid spasm? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Well, apparently she's not as smart as she was before. I do. What would you even call that? Because I call it a twitchy eyelid. But you would think it would be like a spasm. I wish you could see it because it's been doing it this whole time. Just cut off. <laughs> no. <laughs> I finally have my hair long enough. It's like down to here. And that was like always my goal after I cut my hair the last time. That I would grow my hair down to my nips. And then it doesn't help that the older you get, the lower they go, so the more you have to grow your hair. But I digress, you know, getting old sucks, people. But yeah, so I'm finally there, unless like 31 decides to hit me hard in my 30s, but you know what I mean. Alexa, <laughs> yeah, I, will, I always feel bad for people who watch who have one, because I talk to mine all the time. So even on my YouTube channel, I have to put like a warning on there just so I don't get hate mail. Okay. I'm not feeling very slothy, but I feel like I've made myself look very tired. We're old, yes. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta grow your hair out longer when you're older. Kids got it so lucky. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of take this eyeshadow up into my hairline too, just because I'm here, might as well. Might as well. We'll just be adding layers upon layers upon layers. So hopefully this ends up looking like her. Okay. Bye, Casey. Thanks for dropping in. Okay. Got to hide my Peter Pan here. Okay. Well, I think that's a good start. Feeling it. I'm feeling it. I have to keep looking at my picture. This cute little fella. Has anybody ever seen one of these? I honestly don't know that I've ever met a sloth, like in real life, IRL. I gotta stop trying to sound young. I just sound like way older when I do that. <laughs> okay, so let's go in with some black eyeshadow and a smaller brush. And then we'll just kind of pack it in. Make it look all nice and pretty, very pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna pack this black eyeshadow from Palette 3. If you have any questions, I'm your sloth. It sounded so lame. But if you do have any questions about any of the makeup products I'm using, hit me up. I'm not really this annoying in real life. I'm much more. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna make sure that my eyes are lined with this eyeshadow. I had a brain fart. I didn't know what I was saying.
I really want to focus on that inner corner just so that they kind of like, I want my eyes to look long, but I also want them to look like weird and far away. Well, I made them bigger, way bigger. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got kind of a sloth eye going on. This could also be a good date night look. Depending on what you're into. I kind of dress like this for most of my date nights, so I guess you can't really get much weirder than this. <laughs> Definitely need some mascara, but I think this is a good start. I look like a raccoon, not what I was going for. It's fine. Okay, so my shapes are all messed up. Of course, why would they be even? Let's just, I need to make my face round. Maybe I need to make this thicker, who knows? Okay, so we have our eyes. Let's uh, try to conceal these eyebrows. I'm gonna actually get some real foundation. I'm gonna use our cream foundation. Sorry, I moved the camera. I moved it. I'm gonna get our liquid foundation brush and I'm just going to put this cream foundation on my eyebrows. And I glued them down so they shouldn't be too big of a problem, hopefully. That'll help cancel out that dark eyebrow color because our eyebrows are actually going to be right here. But they don't really have eyebrows, so maybe we'll just go sans eyebrows. Mm hmm. I look like weird. <laughs> I'm going to actually put this on all the blank space just because it'll give us more movability with our colors as we add on rather than putting it on just regular old skin and yes i know this isn't my color it's fine okay i look like i'm sick with something the sloth fever. Boom, boom. Okay. I feel like this one's going to be one that trips me up until the very, very end. Let's get some brown out of palette four. We're going to go for this camel color brown here. And what brush shall we use? Let's get some brush cleaner. Nice and empty, just the way I like it. Maybe we won't use brush cleaner. Maybe we'll just pray. Okay. All right, so I cleaned my brush. Our brush cleaner is pretty amazing, especially when you have a full one. I'm gonna take this camel color and I'm gonna go around my eyes, just kind of lighten it and then it'll fade into the white. So we don't want to be just completely dark. Give us more of a, more of a look. It's a look for sure. There's the dogs. Bo's replacing my clutch, so they heard the bike start up. Okay. Then I'll put some down here around my beard. Same thing, we're just building that fade, I guess. My goatee. We're just working on my goatee. It'll all come together in the end, hopefully. Okay, 
feel like I look like a, a wannabe burglar from like Alabama. Hide your kids, hide your wife type stuff. Okay. I can't get over like this hairline mixed with my wigs hairline. It's very unsettling. <laughs> Let's do some darkness on my nose just so that we can have a nose. I feel like I look a little raccoony. So I'm going to go in with that dark brown and just make my nose. Okay. Hey, we kind of look like something. Okay. This is exciting. My nose is disappearing. And I did it on purpose. So now I talk about darks and lights in every single one of my videos. It's probably super annoying to hear, but Whenever you're playing with, it's highlight and contour, basically. It's just on a different scale. So if you have a hooded eye, you would want to do dark above your crease because it pushes that back and makes it look like it's not pronounced like a hood. So whenever you put something light, it makes that go forward. So this is why my nose is like non-existent because it's pushing it back like an optical illusion. But most of these techniques, albeit they're weird, but it's just playing with highlight and contour. Same thing with like eyeshadows, contouring your nose. It's all the same. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, croissant. Let's make our mouth. Hmm, okay. Sloths have this, ugh, sloths have this smile. So I hope I got it smiley enough. Maybe. Maybe that, yeah. Okay, there's our slothy smile. So now all around this we'll make, make our slothiness. And our lips are black because these little guys' lips are so black. I look like a mustache. Can't get over it. Okay, stay. Let's do some shading away from our giant nose. I hope I end up looking like a sloth. I would feel pretty silly if I didn't at the end. I feel like I look more like a chipmunk at this point. It's okay. All right, let's see. I've got the nose. My mouth is a little on the light side, but I don't really Maybe we'll just paint it in with some black eyeshadow and then I'll get my paint palette out and then we'll start adding the hair strokes. I'm going to do the hair strokes with my paint just because it tends to come forward more because it's more opaque than when you paint on with eyeshadow.
and make sure I don't lose that smile line. Sometimes in the middle of my videos, I always like feel like I'm the kid that got into their mom's makeup. So I have a feeling that there's been plenty of kids that came out looking like this. I don't know, you guys. It's looking a little creepy. I guess that's the point. Let's start adding some hair strokes. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do some browns. And then we'll add in some lighter browns and some darker browns. Some browns of browns. We'll just start doing hair strokes everywhere. I don't even know why I try to use this mirror. Pretty ridiculous. Gosh, my forehead is huge. Okay, and then let's do some in my eyes. It may look like I'm doing nothing. It's probably because I'm not. I'm literally putting brown paint on brown eyeshadow. I know, it's rocket science, you guys. I'm just gonna kind of blend those back. I forgot to, uh, forgot to contour that part. Oops. Okay. Still going with the brown. I think I way outdid the mouth. <laughs> in this goatee. I have to like black out my neck or something just so it doesn't look so out of place. Gotta get my chins. So hair strokes are definitely not my strong suit. And that's fine. That's why we're here. Would you look at that? It may not look good to you, but it looks good to me. I don't know where I get some of these attitudes from, but I think I have like multiple personalities when I do makeup. All right, let's make a uh, orangey brown. Are you ready for that? I'm ready for that. Let's clean this brush off. Be a little bit professional. Okay, now we'll make an orangey brown. Let's see what that looks like. Should look good. Hmm, maybe more orange. Must orange mess there. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. I know. Who wants to see Kim mix paint? I do.
it's not sticking out as much as it looks like it is, but it actually is a pretty orange color. Yeah, that looks a little more orange. Okay, perfect. That's what we wanted. Okay, and then I'm going to get it up in here like I did on the other one. We'll just trace it all around. Do the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. Do I look like a sloth? Be honest. I don't feel like a sloth. Okay. Let's do, we got the nose, see that shading up a bit, and then we'll go in with the highlights later. Let's do some of those oranges up in my forehead area, just for, just for funsies. I feel like this is what really brought our tiger together was adding in all the different colors in the beginning and then going on top of them with different different colors it looked really good okay this leg I look like I have five million foreheads, but I don't. Okay. What do you guys think so far? Are you impressed? That look. I think I made my mouth too long. That's gonna drive me nuts. We gotta get rid of it. That's much better. We were like Joker. Now we just kind of look like we took something and put on makeup. It'll come together in the end. Okay. I don't know, you guys. This one might not turn out that good. <laughs> Let's add some blacks in. Seems like a safe color. Yes, wig. Yas. I would be so angry if I actually did cut my hair. It is kind of cool, though. Let me, like... It's my Ken wig. We named it Ken because it makes me look like a 10 year old boy. Okay, well, let's get some black open y'all. I'm going to do black brush strokes all around my face lies. Yeah, I don't know. It does take, well, I guess before I slothed, I looked a little younger, but it definitely Makes me look like at least 10 years younger. But it makes me look like a boy, so there's that too. I think I should get a blonde pixie wig. And live my pixie dreams. Start a band. I can't tell if I'm just looking tired or more tired, or if I actually am getting more tired. Er. Don't worry guys, I graduated high school. It's fine. You'll all succeed. Okay. <laughs> I 
I'm not feeling very slothy. So I'm not sure that I'm getting the the slothness. Are you down with the slothness? I'm just connecting their little sloth goatee to my little sloth joker face. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. <laughs> we'll see. When it's done. If I've succeeded. Great success. <laughs> this doesn't look like it should, but it's okay. That looks more like a bro tee than a go tee. Oh, and this tickles too. <laughs> so I guess I should show you what I'm like attempting to do and failing miserably at. I'm trying to do this. No, it's just not, not working. It's fine. Do we really need to look like a sloth? Was that what we came here for? I think I need to uh, bring my goatee up a little bit. I'm gonna have to hit that with some, some lighter color later. It's fine, totally fine guys. I'm just making it worse. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, freaking out a little bit. It's totally fine. I'm gonna color my lips a little darker. And hopefully that makes this all look better. I like a clown. <laughs> Who's digging this look so far? I know I'm not. Why is the sloth the one that's the hardest for me? Really? I turned into a tiger last week. I'm getting tripped up by a sloth. Get you every time. I don't know, you guys. We may have messed this one up a little bit. That's okay. Okay, let's get some lighter colors going. Try and salvage this. I'm going to dip into my white. We'll get under here. Let's see if we can't fix that. I look like I ate a marker. Dang it. It's okay. Okay, 
no worries guys just gonna take some of this white and brown and make like the lightest color brown I can and then we'll go on top of that we're making we're making hair I feel like we can salvage this, maybe. Maybe. If anybody can come back from this, it's definitely not us, but have the faith. That looks kind of cool. Look at us. So professional. Doing things we actually mean to. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So basically we laid out we laid down all that flat color just to do hair strokes on top of it. it. May seem like it was a lot of extra work for nothing. Maybe like 70% right, but uh that's just what I do. Ooh, that was extra wet. That needed the sound effect. Just in case you thought it was a bit excessive. Okay. Just coloring back into the browns. Just kind of making it look a little more three-dimensional. I'll do the same thing on my nose. Just kind of coloring that in just so that it looks like hair. Oh my land head. Look at that nose be in the gallery I swear look at my eyebrows too they're gone we may have messed up the mouth but uh I'm feeling everything else I don't know what happened but I'm feeling it feeling it Ooh, I just like slung some paint on my my sloth ta okay I'm gonna go back in on this goatee thing we got going on we gotta fix it I don't know what's happening down here, but it's not acceptable. Okay, I need to do some browns. Let's see, where was that brush? I use this one. It'll work. I'm just kind of like randomly mixing all these colors in hopes that it looks amazing. And I'm using stiffed bristled brushes now because I feel like it. And they seem to work really well for this hair stuff we got going on. I feel like that should be a little darker. What do you guys think? I'll just keep adding until it looks right. I 
I messed it up. Dang it. Knew that was going to happen. Okay, we'll fix it. I need to woo saw for a second. What am I doing with my life? I need some more light colors. On it. Look like a cat. Not what we're going for. There we go. Ooh, that kind of gives it kind of like a. <laughs> yeah, I think we're I think we're getting there. Do the same thing on this side now. If we can figure it out. I don't know if <laughs> this is what a slop looks like, but I have a feeling we look like something different than what we started, and that's all that matters, right? I'm going to do some hair strokes down in this goatee area. And we probably better add in some... light color too. I really hope I look like a sloth. If not, I just look like I got into my mom's makeup. Do I look furry? I feel like I look furry. Maybe I need more black. So this is the worst part. I just keep thinking that I need more and I probably don't. I feel like these eyes need to be a little darker just because the, the picture, they look so dark. So we're trying to do that. Let's just do a little more black around the eyes. And I think, I think if I squint hard enough, I look just like one. But in my defense, I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. So there's that too. Okay. I don't know why I keep doing that same dumb look. Okay, I feel like the hair strokes look amazing, but it could just be me. I am a little bit biased. Um, all right, now for my lips, I'm going to go in with some white and just kind of like highlight that smile because I think this look is going to work with my mouth shut for the most part, which is scary. Okay, so I'm going to get this flat brush, Lord help me, and a mirror. And then <laughs> I think. 
looks so creepy. This wig, I swear. It's this wig too, and it looks like the wig goes all the way down, but this is where the wig starts. This is where the paint starts. We're actually gonna put on some real mascara, like human mascara. And uh, I'm gonna use the 4D just because it has like the fibers in it and it pumps them up, pump, pump, pumps them up. So we're gonna do a couple coats of that. I think it's definitely gonna bring the look together. And what sloth would not have beautiful eyelashes? Okay. And then I'll have to see if I can find my black eyeliner because I think that's needed too. And then we'll be done. We slothed it. I think we slayed the sloth. I wish I would have did something with my neck, but we're already at an hour, so. It will have to wait. We will have to do a sloth version too. I think there's different like kinds of sloth too. I know there's like a three, a three fingered sloth. Let's ask Alexa. Alexa, how many species of sloth are there? She didn't acknowledge me. Alexa, how many species of sloth are there? Sloths are the six species of medium sized mammals belonging to the families Megalonychidae and Greatopodidae, part of the order Bellota. They are arboreal residents of the rainforests of Central and South America. That did not answer my question. I think there's like more than one sloth. All right, we might just stick with two coats because uh, you can't tell, but they're banging. Yeah, I'm definitely digging this mascara. I was kind of worried when we came out with another fiber mascara because I didn't love the last one. I do love this one. It gets my seal of approval. And it's one step, which makes it that much more better. Oh my gosh, I swear you guys, I am smart. I just can't talk. All right, that's our look. Let's look for some black eyeliner real quick. Let's do that annoying thing where I search through my bag for something I'm not gonna find because I know everybody loves that. Holy shizzle sticks. I found it. Okay, I'm just gonna tight line my eyes even though I got paint there anyways. I might actually put some lip gloss on my nose to make it look wet. That might look pretty cool. I might not do the top lid just because I want like it to drag down. Tell me what you think. Do you think we slayed the sloth? I think we did. Okay. I'm super excited about this. Let's get some lip gloss on this nose. Do I have lip gloss? kind of girl am I? I literally don't have lip gloss. How does that happen? Oh well, it's fine. We'll just get it wet. That'll work. We'll just get it wet. I'm not with that though. We might just leave it. We should just leave it. Okay, you guys. I think we slothed. We slothed and we conquered. We came, we slothed, we conquered. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It was a very low-key uh, Wednesday night look. I feel like it was very calm. We achieved this look very slowly in true sloth form. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited with how it turned out. I'm just going to keep adding stuff and probably ruin it, but I'm surprised because it was going not very well earlier. But now, we're all slothed out and stuff. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go. You guys have a great night. Send me some ideas. I think I wanna do at least one more animal, animal look. 
So what's your favorite animal? Let me know because I would like to do the animal on my face. So let me know if you have any ideas and we have an exciting series coming up next. I'm super stoked. It's very different and it has me a little scared, which is always fun. So our next series will be coming up. We'll probably do one more look in this animal series and I have no idea what it is. So I can't tell you. <laughs> And then um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, yeah, that's it. You guys have an amazing Wednesday night. Slothkin out.